Hello and welcome to week 31 of the Franken Scrap Crochet Along. This week we're making the jagged stitch piece. So this is an unusual looking stitch which has a um, raised stitch at the front that kind of kinks at the top and it just looks jagged. So for this piece you're going to be starting with a foundation chain of 54. So to start the jagged stitch we're going to make a double crochet in the fourth chain from a hook. So the turning chain counts as your first stitch in this, so I marked the first chain from my hook with a stitch mark to keep track of it. And then row one, we're just going to make a double crochet in each stitch across. So this allows us to set up ready to make our jagged stitches in the next row. Just double crochet in every stitch for row one. And the last one. Okay, and that's row one. So then we turn and chain one. So we're going to make a double crochet turning chain in our first stitch. And then we're going to start our jagged stitches. So your jagged stitches are made over two stitches. So to start, yarn over. Around the post of the next stitch, insert your hook and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Leave two loops on your hook. Now we're going to insert a hook into the top loops of the next stitch. So this is the second stitch we're working over going to yarn over and pull up a loop. So you've got three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And that is your jagged stitch. So it looks like it's actually made in the row below because it's here. And we start with a straight part and then it just jags out to make it a bit wonky. And that's how a jagged stitch is made. Then chain one. Okay, so we're going to start our next jagged stitch in the next stitch. So we finish the last one here, around the post of the next stitch, and then yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Insert your hook into the top loops of the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And then chain one. And you repeat this all the way across the row. So the chain one after your stitch keeps our stitch count because we have a single stitch spanning two stitches right now. And the chain one will bring your stitch count right. So yarn over, insert your hook around the post of the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Insert your hook into the next stitch. There is no yarn over going into the stitch, you just hook straight in. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Chain one. And you keep doing this until you have one stitch left in your row. So after you make your last jag stitch, just make sure you chain one before making a double crochet in the last stitch of the row. And then that's row two complete. So I'm gonna turn, chain one. Make a double crochet turning chain in the first stitch. Okay, so this is a row of double crochet, but we need to make sure we're making it in the right loops. So in the chain one space, 
we're going to make a double crochet but we're only going to use the front loop of the chain. Okay, so make sure you're only working into the loop of the chain and make a double crochet. Then the next stitch, make a double crochet in both loops. In the chain space, you're going to be working into the chain itself but only that front first loop and make a double crochet. And you repeat this across the row. Working through both loops of the next stitch which will be in your jagged stitch. And the next stitch is a chain one space. You're making a double crochet using the front loop only of the chain. Use both loops for the next stitch which is your jagged stitch. Then use the front loop only of the chain of the next stitch. And just double crochet all the way across. So last jagged stitch, double crochet. There is no chain one between that last stitch and the jagged stitch. So once you've made that double crochet in the jagged stitch, make a double crochet in the last stitch of the row. And that's row three. So the rest of the jagged stitch is a repeat of rows two and three. To complete your jagged piece, you're going to be repeating rows two and three until you have 16 rows in total. Once you've finished row 16, you can cut off and weave in your ends and then it's time to join this piece to the rest of your Franken scrap. So to see where this piece fits with the full layout and all the joining instructions, click the link beneath this video and it will take you to the blog post where you can find all that information. And don't forget if you have any questions or just want to join in the chat with your fellow Franken scrappers, then come and join our Facebook group. The link is also beneath this video. So once you've finished joining, that's week 31 complete. And I shall see you next week for the next piece. Bye for now.